what's up guys it's your what now <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i was actually doing the same thing though stop being on my wavelength stop it <laughs> i just i was literally like thinking about it i'm just like what's up guys tj here bringing you some fresh new digi content no <laughs> uh anyways hello <laughs> uh we're, we're back again uh, we're uh, matching each other's freak <laughs> Mom said it's my turn on the brain cell. <laughs> um, oh, no. Anyway, back again um, with some with some more commentary. Um, ben is still indisposed. Uh, he is vibing in the background, uh, prepping for his wedding. So uh, early congratulations to the man himself. Um, Help me! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> God, it's almost like I can hear him. Oh, he's so far away, but he's so close so at the same time. <laughs> the warmth. <laughs> uh, I can't. All right. Anyway, uh, so second round of locals here um, over at Sully's Abode, um, the usual place we we hang out at every Thursday. Um, I'm sure you don't need to heal, hear the spiel uh, that Ben usually does, because um, he will always do better than I will. Um, we hang out of there every Thursday. Uh, we fire off at 6.30. Nice place to play at. Um, so if you're ever in the area, come come hang out. Come check us out. Um, but in this one, we've got uh, Jorge playing the new Ragna, which I think is the first time we were going to have the new Ragna on the channel. Yeah? I think so. I don't think we've had it on cam yet. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got um, Tyler playing his good old Galaxy Mirage. Um, which, I mean, he's been cooking our locals with it. I think it's... Yes second second week in a row now that he's won with it yeah he's been doing he's been doing crazy he's been yeah. going going burr it's been very solid um but yeah i think i've got nothing else i think we're we're good to just go right into it all right so this one they started the recording a little late because i think both of them haven't used the or haven't messed with the laptop at all so um immediately starting yeah. on tyler's turn with the uh with Eva and the Lunamon, and then dropping an Aga to search for Light Claw and Night Fang. So, yeah. So, see Jorge start out in the back. Evo's into a Lunamon, goes into a uh, Zuba Eager, into a Raiji Ludo. Mm -hmm. um, so, I know a little bit about the Ragna stuff. I'm not super familiar with it. I definitely like its new playstyle way better. Um, I love the whole idea of just a bunch of hand effects by paying costs to just build a stack. Yeah. Um, it's and it works really well with the old Ragnar Lord Mon. The ace is still good, uh, but the ace definitely feels like it's just sort of like a, a backup maneuver. Like it's just something you just like kind of use. Uh, but you obviously want to just ideally go for the new Ragnar Lord and just be able to swing face for a bunch of checks as a big guy ignoring security effects. You mean the old Ragnar Lord or or old Ragnar? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Sorry. So Tyler climbing up in the Apollo using the regression effects to just start climbing up the line. Um, Ooh, it's Ragnar is Yikes, that's 15k. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, he is 15. He Jesus. is 15. Yeah, this is big. Yeah. But He's those... only the um yeah. the OG boy that's 14. Mm. Um, but does at least get his two checks in, so um unfortunately does lose the stack off that. Yeah, um, so or I will go ahead and pay one to uh, to basically tuck the spada under, which uh he can tuck it under his uh legendary trace Digimon or level three Digimon to draw a card. Um, and then he evos into a Durandamon, or, uh, and does a, does a swing. How did he get the swing off? Is that, uh, that one I am trying to figure out right now. <laughs> there, uh, there's probably blitz somewhere, question mark? Oh, oh when, when did, did you evolve yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he gets to the blitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. Neat. So he's sitting on a pretty good stack. He has protection because of the Raiji Ludo. He has a little bit of a DP buff because of the Zuba Eager. So he's like sitting at uh, about 14k right now when he swings. Jeez. Um, and then I don't know which Ludo that is. Think... Wait, is that the egg? Yeah, that's the egg. I think that's the the new one, the black one for Legend Arms. Um, by or by returning one card with a Legend Arms trade from this Digimon's Digivolution card to the hand, gain one memory at the start of main. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah. Where's level three at in that stack? Is it tucked under? It might be hiding under the Zuba. I, I th I'm pretty sure he went into a Ludomon. I could have sworn. Hmm. <laughs> Let's 
Well, anyways. <laughs> keep going. Hmm. We'll keep going. <laughs> Awkward silence. It's fine. Uh, so Galgamon will go ahead and Evo into the Fira. Oh, you know, he probably did the start of main effect on the level three. Because I think that was already a level four or five in the back, right? Uh... I don't. Let's know. assume that's what he did. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. We're returning one. Oh, yeah, that is what yeah. he did. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cocky. Okay, we just looked away. That's yeah, all. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine. So goes into Mirage, bounces security to hand. Um, keeps turn because memory go burr. Yeah. Yeah, Jorge does have a fair amount of cards in hand. Yeah, his. He is bigger than the Durandamon, but he has to be careful of the ace. Oh, there it is. Jorge does have the ace. From now, the top rope. The, <laughs> the Bryway should be at the bottom there. Yeah. But it doesn't super matter. The Ragnar ace will go ahead and just trash our card of security stack, and then we'll go ahead and de-digivolve one of his, uh, well, all of his opponents, all of uh, Tyler's Digimon, and then delete the Mirage. Yeah. Swings in with the ace here. Checks the level yeah, four. Yeah. Does have raid, has reboot, has piercing. Bryway is giving it protections oh. and blocker. Lord. It is just uh, it is a big guy. And it's trying to rival and Justin he, keywords. Yeah, and he ignores security effects too. Damn. So he's chilling. Ragnar is really fun. Yeah. It is really, really fun. Yeah, I wanted to build this deck and I'm like, I was looking at him like, Ragnar's an SR. It's pretty how many cheap. SRs do I need? <laughs> it's pretty cheap. Yeah, I mean, most of the deck is just commons and whatnot. I, mean, I think I, I think I gave up building it when I saw that I needed old Ragnar, and I'm like, I'm never gonna get these without having to order them. So yeah, I yep. think um, somebody has like two alts that goes to Deans, but I can't remember who. Hmm. Anyway, uh, looks like Tyler's scooping it up here, going to game two. Yeah, um, that's fair. I think it's a hard spot to come back from. Once Ragnar Ace hits the board, he's tough. Yeah. I mean, Barry Ludra just making it so they can't leave the uh uh the battle area other than by your effects or deletion yeah is is not great for a deck that basically can only really bounce it's not yeah. mirage galaxy is not a a deletion deck outside outside of fear of being able to pop stuff it it's like what 5k less so yeah i'm surprised you don't keep at least one grace nova to have like a, as a backup plan but i don't know i don't play the deck <laughs> can't yeah, can't I speak to it yeah, I mean, whatever Tyler got going, it's it's been working pretty well. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but that's also it was also rough because his Apollo hit the Ragnase and then his Mirage just got popped. So losing two giant stacks you've yeah. put effort into is is uh... it's tough. This, then this is kind of the risk that is run when we you know when Mirage doesn't have access to jamming. Yeah. Um, you know, you're basically going. I mean, you have DP climb pretty pretty good. Uh, with the galaxy engine but you know sometimes it's it's not enough if you're missing some pieces so yeah um wow <laughs> just built a full line in the back yup all the way up to a duramon yeah but I, I think we're seeing the usual start from both players here so yeah kind go ahead and starts doing galaxy shenanigans you yep. go from one into the lekas yeah Oof, only one target unfortunately off that well only one card you can pick up yeah. I can only pick up one card. I can English. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Talk. We get there. We got there indeed. Goes into the Fira, Fira Flare. Oh, I can never yeah, remember Fira. that name. Fira. It's Fira. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Goes into Apollo. Will Let's... swing is a big oh guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Uh, that <laughs> is so crazy. Twice. Just That's... hard drops a spada to draw one. I believe. Or no, he pitches one to draw two, rather. Sorry. Yeah, but also chokes Tyler one, which is oh my yeah. god, that's oh. Tyler has to work on a whole new line. Admittedly, like Tyler has all the resources he could probably like want. Yeah. Just opts to play a Ko and Sayo though, just set up the memory setter, which I think is good. You don't want to get choked right now. Yeah, you definitely can use all the memory you can get. One hundred percent. It looks like Jorge's maybe kind of stuck. He's not seeing um... level six. Yeah, it looks like it, based off the fact that he's keeping the Duramon in the back. Unless he's wanting to just, like, wait till he gets an ace. Oh, oh no, he goes right away in the back. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he could it also is... be waiting on the ace, but, yeah. Yeah, that is the new Bryway. Um. So. Let's see, when did you hold into the end of your opponent's turn? When did your opponent is infected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon? Yeah, so that's fine. He just chills back there. It's not really needing anything. Yeah. 
Wow, he gets blocker and reboot? Jesus. Yep. It's keyword city, man. Okay, yep. we'll go. I'll go for one, gain the memory back, so effectively free. Yeah. Was so in the Fira pops the was it five k or less? Yeah, five k or less. We pops the Tialudo. Yeah. So he's one check. Ooh, it's a four k. Lives. Solid. Does that jamming? It, he also had jamming. Yeah. 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 So that helps. It, it, when the stack has jamming, it does help. What is it? Louis? What the? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. He he has it so that way he can just like hyper out a little bit faster with some certain stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. He uses the cocking effect to. Put the spada back to hand, tucks the spada to draw a card, and then just drops a Let's an see. ST tie. Yeah, sorry, that tie. I mean, yes, okay. it did. I can see it because you do. That's you strong. have blocker, so I mean, yeah, yeah. Make your guy a little bigger, and then give him get, what, plus two K. Is it plus two K to memory, or just plus two K off a redirect? It's plus two K. Draw one. Draw one. That's what it is. So yeah, that's yeah, solid. So Bryway can potentially be a uh, 14k blocker right now, hmm. which would meet a mirage. So we see, oh boy, <laughs> yep. loads of okay goes into another Fira. It's just gonna gain all the DP boost right now, which, th which I think is smart. He still has the Coincide that he can use to go ahead and go down and Evo up if he yeah. wanted to. See the Fira. I'm expecting a free Mirage to come out because I've been hit by that before with the coincide. I'm like, oh, that evils yeah. anything for, for free. <laughs> I think the bigger issue now is that he's stuck on a red level five, so he can't uh, actually sure. go into Mirage in that deck. We'll go to Creste over here. Yeah. Right, I'm assuming. I think it's a uh, can't suspend. Yeah, correct. The Durham, what's the Durham on give us in here? I don't remember what he does. Uh. Your turn once per turn once you just want to attack target is switch trash top card of your opponent's security stack. Okay, so if you raid. Hard goes into the Mirage over the Cressa. We'll bounce, yeah, we'll bounce security. Into memory back. Okay. Regress again on the other stack. Oh, to go into the burst oh, mode. Yep, there it is. The classic. Three. Um, we'll bounce. Does it bounce? I think it immune to that. Uh, it shouldn't be because he voted in the back. Um, it only has the protection. Uh, on Evo. Hmm. So we'll gain them. So. So. Hmm. I'm trying to see. I don't know. Because he doesn't have the right. He didn't have the Raiji to shed it, I don't think. I don't think he shed it to Raiji. He put the level three back to hand and then grabbed another card. Bada does that, but doesn't activate the effect. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what's giving him protection right now. Um. I'm sure That's someone fine. in the comments will point it out nicely, I hope. Yeah, we're probably <laughs> just missing something. Yeah. Um, but does ace off the swing. Yeah, on and Evo. Gets rid of the uh, the burst mode stack. Yeah, which makes sense. We'll go Galga. Galga will gain a memory off of the Evo. Looks like... <laughs> Uh, we'll just go ahead and go into a crest for yep. reduce cost because of all, all the sources and then can just stun the Ragna so then Ragna cannot Not uh, swing. Yeah. yeah. Tyler's deck looking a little thin though. Yeah, he is. Uh, that is Galaxy draws oh. so much, man. And now he's okay. going to force the crest of the swing. The, yeah. Yeah, with the Raiji effect. Yep. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, this is just goes ahead and tucks a Ludo, which that Ludo Mon then plus gives him plus 2K? two KDP. Yeah, Jesus. So he's a big 17, 18K body with blocker. Yep. Oh my God. <laughs> tucks a Tia Ludo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, they're just. Does it, what's the Does it do the same thing? No, the plus I, think, 2K, I think so, yeah. And then plus Jesus. 2K off the inheritable. So actually, wait, no, he's, wait, so it's plus four plus, so it's plus eight. So it's 20, Ooh. 23K. Dark Gaia Force. Dark Gaia Force. Interesting. Okay, so what does Tyler do here? Tyler still has loads of security. Loads of security, but again, his deck is like, oh, is that like, it's thin. we're at five, six cards left, roughly. 
Yeah, he's got to be careful about these the evos and searches right now. Yeah. I think if there's a way for him to go into Mirage and restand. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Those crests just makes it so that the Ragnarok Ace cannot suspend. Yeah. He'll do the start of main phase effect to go ahead and just add a source back to gain a memory. Yeah. Can't really go on the offensive here because you do need that blocker up. Yeah. So swings it back to Tyler by just he has, the back. Yeah. He should have blocker from the yeah, the Ragnarok inherent does yeah. that. And then I think the Louis is about to hit the board. Yep. Ooh, yeah. Damn. Lewis the board, swings for game. Jesus. Okay. Woof. Louis coming in clutch there. Yes, sir. Is this the uh, onto the three now, I think? Yeah. Yeah, game three. Gee. <clears throat> Jorge making me want to build Ragnarok, even though I know it's not <laughs> going to play like this when I play it. I'm going to play it, and it's, I'm just going to see all of one line and never the other one. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll see how much ye old Ragnarok is. Maybe I can he's, pick him up. He's dirt cheap. He's yeah. dirt cheap. No, no maybe do do the good old net deck special and pick pick up a list but uh let's play that like that gambo what's uh what do you think his price is right now shoot a ball if you're saying he's dirt cheap uh, i don't know i mean depends hey i guess ragnar's not doing much in meta so two two dollar two dollar two dollar okay he actually did go up he sees five dollar oh my god never mind <laughs> 549 that is that that breaks your bank <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that breaks, that does. Those, those three extra dollar that's too yeah. much <laughs> yeah well i mean because like most lists are running what like two i roughly? think they run two or three yeah that's 15. I, I think it's i think it's like two ace like two or one ace and then two or three of the old ragna that's 15 dollars that's too much for me <laughs> I'd probably do. I feel like I'd do two and three. I'd probably do three old and then two new. No. Because you don't need tamers, so you have a decent amount of open slots. You could probably run one of the starter deck as a meme, maybe. I thought about it. Starter deck just feels bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's just tough. It's such a strong card, but it's mm. just tough. I wonder. I wonder what Jorge's egg spread is. I wonder if he's running because we're seeing the red one now, the the Sakudo. Yeah, I think the. It might be like um, like one and four. I think the cocking seems pretty good to just be able to give you extra memory on your turn to work with. But that being said, the Sakudo is good for if you're constantly placing cards under. So, yeah. Um, I know okay. like yeah, the cocking is kind of solid for cycling your hand effects too. So yeah, it also lets you get back rookies from the stack if you want to like try an Evo on the back and set up something else too. Yeah, that's good if you're missing a piece. Um. Holy lord oh moly. Galaxy doing memory things, going crazy. <laughs> uh, Jorge, unfortunately, did not see a rookie, so he is kind of stuck just sitting on that five right now. He had to hard drop the, the Zuba Eager uh, earlier. Yeah. Tyler is going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Galaxy. Galaxy. There's a Galaxy's worth of memory in that deck, I'll tell you that much. That's for sure. Uh -huh. you get it? I'm funny. <laughs> 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 Suspend the coincide of regress, go into the Gal Galgamon. Gain, yeah, gain more free. memory. Yeah. Goes into Fira. Goes into. And here comes the Apollo. Yeah, so swings 14k. Take your butts, right, Nice. Three checks. Alright. Pops Two, that. Three. Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, but he's. Is he bigger? He's bigger this time. We're good. He is jamming. He has jamming. Oh, that's true. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Here's the Galgamon, so that's why. The, ooh, oh, there, that's a, there it is. <laughs> that's a tough start, man. Yeah. That's a tough, I haven't thought about that, though. The Galgamon giving Jimmy to that Apollo is actually huge, because that was always the biggest thing. It's like Apollo could be really explosive, but he often died at swinging into security or would just die in the clapback. But now, yeah. if you have jamming, he gets rid of one of those weaknesses. And if you have enough blue sources under, you just sit there at 16k chilling. So, unless yeah. you have like a big security bomb or something. Yep. Or option, rather. But uh, this is. Yeah. I he's, think Kyler just has game. Yeah, he's building in the back, but not much he can do here. Yeah, like I think Jorge needed I mean I guess he couldn't push up, right? Yeah. Bigger oh, again. Two yeah, gold that's it. Ragnar's, or jamming, yeah. yeah. Wow. That Solid. is the fastest game three in the red <laughs> in the West, dude. Yeah. Holy moly. But yeah, Jesus. It was a good game. Yeah, very good games. Um, but yeah, that that's neat. That's my first time seeing how Ragnar actually works, so it's very nice to get some insight on the deck yeah um and then tyler with his usual shenanigans so let's go crazy yeah but yeah uh that'll do it for this one um 
yeah i got nothing else <laughs> yeah I dude, think that's it. do the usual like comment subscribe um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one i think we'll catch you later Bye. see ya